Hi, my name is Christy. Welcome to my channel. I have a special video for you today. I am collaborating with one of my YouTube friends, Nikki from Genic Fashions. We're going to be challenging each other by randomly picking fabric and design items and all sorts of things for each other. And then whatever is picked at random, the other person is uh, supposed to make it work. Just like Tim Gunn says, make it work. So I hope you enjoy this. Please don't forget to subscribe to her channel and mine, please, that'll be great. And uh, I hope you enjoy what we have for you today. So here's a small clip of um, her introducing what was randomly chosen for me. Hi, I'm Nikki from Genic Fashions, and I'm so excited to be here to pick Christy's next piece of garment that she'll be making. So I'm gonna get to pick at random the fabric she'll be using and design elements. So I'm going to go ahead and spin this wheel and first we are going to pick out her fabric. So we have five pieces of fabric here, uh, two of which she does not like and three of which I think she really likes. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead, spin the wheel and see which fabric she'll be using. How did you get the music to play? I couldn't All get the right. ticking to play. And as it turns out... She will start okay. by okay. using that was a fabric the that I like, so. print. Congratulations, okay. Christy. I think you like this one, so this is good. All right, now let's see what you will be making. All right, so we get to choose between these articles of clothing. So I'm going to go ahead and spin the wheel and see which one comes up. Oh, we have a winner, and it looks like Christy, you will be making a skirt. But I know from a oh, previous God. video that you do not like making skirts, so Ooh. hopefully you'll Ooh. come up with a design that you do okay. like. Okay. All right, so let's look at special design elements of your skirt. All right, so the first thing that we're going to look at is where will you wear the skirt? Some more fancy, some more casual. Let's spin the wheel. Let's find out. All right, okay, Christy, cool. looks like you're going to be making this skirt for a formal occasion. All right, and so one more spin just to see something special that is okay. going to be added to your skirt. All right, so here we go, final spin. And it looks like oh. you will be adding flowers okay. to your skirt. So it looks like you're going to be making a formal, formal skirt with the flowers on it and that should be interesting. If anyone can pull it off, you can. I'm so excited to see what you do with this skirt. So thanks again, Nikki, and best of luck to you in your project. You can find her video down in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe to both of our channels. That'll be amazing. We're trying to support each other and like our videos. Don't forget to check hers out as well. I'll link hers in the description box and probably up here somewhere. I'm so excited. Thanks so much for being here. So guys, I'm so proud of how this skirt turned out. I think it looks so good. Yeah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> we just watched a clip of Nikki showing me exactly what I was supposed to be doing for this challenge. So there was a couple of days in between when Nikki gave me the challenge items and I started sewing. I don't know what happened in those couple of days, but I grabbed the wrong fabric and started designing a skirt from it and was so confident that that was the right fabric I should be using because that's what was picked on that wheel. It wasn't until I started editing this video when I replayed what she actually picked for me and it was the wrong fabric. <laughs> yeah, if this was the show Chopped, I would definitely be eliminated because I did not use one of the mystery ingredients. I hope you still enjoy the skirt that I made for you with the other elements, just uh, not the right fabric. My bad. Here is the fabric that I 100% thought Nikki had picked for me. It is fairly lightweight with great stretch in both directions that drapes really well. And I love the jewel tones of this pattern. Too bad it wasn't the one that I was supposed to work with. 
In addition to my memory being challenged, this fabric was from a mystery scrap fabric box and had an interesting cutout that I had to work around. I actually wanted to make a circle skirt, but the hole made that difficult, so I opted to pattern from a dress of mine that already almost has a full skirt. I've pinned the skirt portion of the dress to the folded over fabric and am cutting around the edges, leaving about a half inch to inch seam allowance. The front and back skirt pieces are the same, which gives me the chance to even out the bottom sides where the fabric ran out. With the front and back skirt pieces still facing each other right sides together, I've added an additional pin so that I can sew down each side. And already this lightweight fabric is getting sucked into my machine, so I have to add a couple pieces of tissue paper at the beginning and the end. At the beginning, Nikki mentioned that I don't like skirts, and that is true. They just don't look great on me. But I tried it on and was surprised that it was actually fitting. So I serged the raw edges. No serger, no problem. Use any overlocking stitch on your sewing machine instead. Next, the waistband. I've cut a strip of fabric five inches wide and the length of the top of the skirt minus one inch. I did this a little odd, but it still worked. I folded the waistband in half with wrong sides together and then folded it again lengthwise. Pin the short edge and sew it into a tube. Like I said, it works. It just created an unnecessary visible seam on the inside of the waistband. To attach the waistband to the top of the skirt, first find the four quadrants by pinning the sides and then matching up those pins to find the quarters. And do the same thing to the skirt by matching the seams and pinning the four quadrants. Next, take the waistband and flip it down so that the raw edges are at the top. Shimmy it over the top of the skirt and line up the pins at each quadrant and pin together in just those four spots. The waistband should be slightly smaller, so you'll need to stretch it while you sew. Break it down into the four quadrants and sew just one quadrant at a time, stretching it so that it matches lengths. And then when you get to the next pin, start on the next quadrant. And you should end up with a nicely finished waistband. This fabric had enough stretch that I did not need elastic or a zipper, but be sure to add elastic if your fabric is not as stretchy. I tried it on again and decided that the skirt wasn't looking formal enough and it needed a slit, which I've marked the start and end points with pins and I'm now connecting those points with fabric chalk. And unless you want a slit on both sides, I mean, you do you, I just wanted one. So I have arranged the fabric so I'm only cutting through the top layer. Turn the skirt inside out so that you can double fold each side of the slit to hide the raw edges. Do this on both sides and then sew up one side and pivot at the top and sew down the other. Sew very close to the edge to make sure the folds stay in place. And when you get to the top, leave your needle in the fabric while you pivot and sew the other side. Now that we've practiced the double fold on the slit, continue that same double fold for the hem. Decide how long you want the hem and fold it twice to meet that length. I wanted mine as long as possible, so I just hemmed it a half an inch. When you get to the seams, clip the seam allowance and lay it in different directions and fold it over twice. This makes a smoother and flatter seam. Oh yeah, I forgot I had to stick a flower on this. I'm using some leftover fabric from my bustier dress and I'm cutting it into eight folded over triangles. Starting from the bottom of the folded edge, hand sew a long stitch from corner to corner. When you get to the opposite side, line up another triangle and attach them together. Then do that same in and out long stitch along the sides. For this first layer, I'm just using two triangles to create the center of the flower. Gently pull on the thread to gather and hopefully create something that looks like petals. For 
the second and third layers, I am using the same process and stringing together the rest of the triangles. Once all of the triangles are strung together, spiral them around the center to make the other petals. I had leftover strap pieces from my bustier dress that I figured I put to good use by making some little stringy things to hang down from the flower. Once I was happy with the placement, I did a few stitches on the back to make sure that the flower petals and stringy things would stay in place then sewed on a circle to hide the stitches and attached a pin to that circle. I hope you've enjoyed this challenge project with my friend Nikki from Jinnik Fashions. Be sure to check out her video as well and enjoy the final reveal, even if it was the wrong fabric.